Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week we are going to do a tutorial and yesterday I asked what kind of makeup you guys would like this week. I did try to film this tutorial yesterday but do you ever have those days where your, your makeup just goes wildly wrong? I had a really really bad day yesterday. So I decided to leave it, doing it today, this is Wednesday and I did a summer glam makeup for you. So this is something that's going to last long on the skin. Um, it's not going to melt with the heat and it's a little bit lighter than my usual kind of makeup. Um, it's not as hard to do, you don't need that many products. Perfect for summer if you're lucky enough to be going on holiday, amazing for going out for dinner or if you're going to like a club abroad or something like that. It's something that's going to last and look quite glamorous without all the hassle. Thank you guys so much for your support in the next awards. Unfortunately, I did not make it to the top 10, but I am already looking forward to other things. I've got a lot of things going on and exciting things to come. I hope you guys like my take on a summer kind of makeup and you can join me next week for more tutorials. If you'd like to see how I created this look, stay tuned. Starting off, I'm grabbing some Elizabeth Arden advanced eye fix primer. This stuff has been tried and tested and it's amazing. I'm just using my Real, Fo Real Techniques pointed foundation brush to apply all over the lid. The only bit of makeup I've done already is my eyebrows and I've done them a little bit thinner than usual because it's summer. This stuff is so good it just takes away any kind of discoloration in the lid mattifies everything down, ready for some eyeshadow. The palette I've decided to use is the Zoeva Rose Golden palette. Super, super cute. I just realised I hadn't done a tutorial with it yet and I absolutely love it. So starting off with the matte cream colour called Luster and I'm just doing a lovely dusting of that. And I'm just using that in the crease with my fluffy Zoeva brush as our transition shade. A transition shade is basically just the lightest colour in a smoky eye and you use it first so you're not going straight in with a dark colour because that doesn't work. It makes a mess. So I'm buffing that in all around the eye. And this is a good look for summer because it's not too heavy, it doesn't take too long and it's really long wearing so if you're somewhere sunny it's not going to fall all over your face. And then I'm going straight in with the other matte shade Wonderful and it's just a nice matte kind of charcoal brown and I'm using a little MAC brush that I got in a set but it's a 226SE, I don't even buy them anymore but any crease brush will do. I'm just going to pop that in there and underneath as well Notice as well that when I'm blending above my eye, I've got my brush up here and when I'm blending underneath, I keep it flat. This just helps the blend go much smoother. Going back in with my soft brush just to smooth all that out. And then I'm just using a teeny tiny pencil brush just to darken up the crease a little bit. I'm just going to use an Illamasqua black pencil. This one's called Sophie. I'm going to choose that right along the waterline. And now for the fun bit. I'm using the colour Reflective Elegance, which is a really nice pinky gold. And we're just going to press that right in here. And I'm just mixing a little bit of the shade Foil, which is more of a champagne. Add a bit of mascara. The mascara I'm using is the Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara. I am not usually a massive fan of like mascaras in general. Like I've never found one that I thought was amazing. But I'm going to go and uh, buy this in full size because it's just a sample. I love it. Okay, because this is just a summer look, I'm just going to add on a little half lash. So it looks just like this and it sits at the end of your lash and it's really, really flattering without being too heavy. 
and they're super easy to put on and you can't you can't feel them at all. So we're just gonna use them. These are Eldora H152s. Eldora my faves. And that's the eyes done. And now it's time for the face. I have already cleansed my skin with coconut oil and then I used tea tree spray from Lush on cotton pads and then took all that off and that's what's keeping my skin pretty much clear right now. I'm suffering from really bad redness. It's the worst. Whenever I touch my face it just gets worse and worse and worse. So what I do to start is Fix Plus by MAC. A generous dose. It's actually roasting here if you can believe. Scotland's meant to be like 29 degrees today. Look how much that's fixed my redness already. Insane. More. My concoction. Le Blanc Chanel Primer. I have the full one of this but I donated it to my kit for all my lovely clients. So I'm living off sachets right now in little pots that I fill up for myself. So what I do with this stuff is you don't need much of this at all that much it's quite a thin layer just a little bit and then your foundation of choice so if you've watched any of my videos you'll know that my favorite foundation is skin base by Alamasca I've tried absolutely everything and skin base just seems to be the thing that works, be works best for my skin so you don't need as much as you usually would I'm gonna give myself maybe two-thirds of what I usually use we're gonna mix that together so I've got my real techniques expert face brush and I'm literally just gonna mix those in the back of my hand and the primer will give a really really nice dewy finish but it will make it long lasting because it's primer and the foundation will give you coverage. I've only done this like three times before but I know it's nice. Sometimes you just don't want that heavy heavy coverage. Like I'm over it. I never thought I'd say that but I am. Downward strokes and pathing where you need more coverage. I'm not too worried about the finish right now though because we're going to use a beauty blender. Now that we've done that, I'm going to take my Fix Plus again. I go through a lot of this stuff and spray my beauty blender until it's damp. And then I'm just going to go over it all. and the primer mix of the foundation just shears it right out and doing this step just pushes it into the skin the Fix Plus helps hydrate your skin and just give you an overall dewy look without it being oily and it just makes your foundation last longer because this is a summery look I'm not going to bother with any kind of heavy concealers or contours so I feel like the foundation brought up to my smoky eye has given me enough coverage so I'm just going to go straight into my new MAC BB cream this is Prep and Prime BB Beauty Bam Dark Deep so I'm going straight in, this is super dark I'm going straight in with my beauty blender and we're just going to add some warmth to the face And because it's a beauty balm, think like Chanel, Chanel Universal Bronze are but half the price and actually really nice and dark. And just bouncing beauty blender along with skin, no crazy contours or anything, literally just a little bit of warmth on the cheek. And this stuff's amazing to have because if you do get a tan on holiday, you can just buff a little bit of this over your foundation just to make it overall quite dark. It's great. Brown! Sticking to the whole summer theme, I'm not going to use a blush. I'm going to keep all the colour on my lip. So I'm going to keep it quite bronzy and dewy and fresh, but I'm going to add my new product, which I only got yesterday, um, NARS Albatross Highlighter. I can't believe I didn't have this sooner. It's amazing. So let's. I'm using my Illamasqua Highlighter Brush. And I'm just going to fire that on my cheekbones here. This bow is a must. Down the nose. And I like a little bit just here. Even though you're on holiday, one thing that you're always going to need is a setting powder. A little bit of setting powder on a fluffy brush and we're just going to dust that on 
all over. Perfect. Time for lips. Ugh, I'm gonna do a bright lip. Fine, fine. I'm not gonna do any lip. I'm gonna do a bright lip. Let's do red. And now we're gonna do lips. Usually I go for a nude lip, but today let's do a red. So starting off with my lip liner, this is MAC Lip Liner in Kiss Me Quick. And I obviously can't talk when I'm doing this, otherwise I'll mess it up. A nice way to, wow, my mouth's really squint when I talk. A nice way to clean up any kind of lines is to get your angle brush from when you did your brows and just kind of clean up. Just like that. And a nice way to check if you are happy with them being even enough. Like me, myself, I know that my lips are not even whatsoever. So I do a little pout and smile. And if you're happy with the way that the cupid's bow comes up and the way that the lip kind of extends down the bottom, then you are a disco. You are ready. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Perfect for summer, perfect for holidays, perfect if you just so happen to live somewhere nice. And I will see you next week. Bye.